Hello, Between the Lines readers. My name is Amber Granger, and I am the MJ Murdoch Arts Admin Intern at Taproot Theater. And today I'm joined by a very special guest for our Actor Spotlight segment. So without further ado, Aaron, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, uh, my name is Aaron Lamb, and I will be playing Lord Illingworth in The Woman of No Importance. Fantastic. Uh, Aaron, what other roles have you had at Taproot? Uh, well, I've done other Oscar Wildes. I was Algernon in The Importance of Being Earnest and Lord Goring in An Ideal Husband. I played Bertie in Jeeves and Wooster. Um, I played Mitch in um, uh, Tuesdays with Maury. Um, I played Schott in Bach at Leipzig. Great. And others. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots, lots, <laughs> yeah. which is fantastic. We're so happy to have you back. Um, so I know uh, a little bit about you. Um, you're also the producing artistic director at Harlequin Productions in Olympia, which is great. I'm originally from Olympia myself. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I heard a th things floating around Taproot that uh, we were trying really hard to get you to be a part of the show. <laughs> so how did you manage to work out your uh, producing artistic director schedule with your schedule for the show oh that's kind of fun um so the first show of our season this year was being directed by a good friend um cory mcdaniel uh but the second show i was directing and so that would have taken me out of this uh out of the running for this and then i would have been available but someone that your readers may know well um scott nolte turned out to be available to direct that show. So I was able to uh, bring Scott on down here in Olympia to direct the second show of our season so that I was free to uh, do this. So really excited that stars aligned there. Yes, yes. We're also very grateful for Scott that he was able to step in so you can kind of flip-flop, yep. be in Olympia, and you'll be up here in Seattle with us. Yeah. Um, so jumping into a little bit about Oscar Wilde, uh, what do you think are the most compelling parts of Oscar Wilde's work for audiences today? That's uh, that's a good question. Um, I think Oscar Wilde pushed the envelope on so many um, levels in his time in the 19th century, late early 20th, late 19th century. Um, and I think it's 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 what what we see he, he him speaking out against which was very uncharacteristic during his time the 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 issues in society in his society that he was illuminating um are still issues for us today and to see them through a lens from over 100 years ago is a really interesting lesson and a good way for us to see the same sorts of issues um in a little bit different lens a little less familiar, which makes them a little, maybe a little, a little more accessible for us to to change. In addition to that, he's very funny. <laughs> of course, <laughs> and it, and it's it's so interesting his ability to to tackle some real social issues with such fantastic humor and and great comic wit and timing that was unparalleled. Definitely. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, now I have a little bit of a fun question. Uh, what is your favorite taproot memory? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, the show I didn't, I did not um, mention, but probably more people remember me from was Dracula. Um there, there are so many memories, but um, walking upstairs backstage to walk into onto the onto the stage for a two second flash and then walk back downstairs to the green room to sit in a chair, then to walk upstairs for a two second flash, then to walk back downstairs <laughs> for, for, you know for the good month that I did that show was a uh, was a really fun memory. <laughs> exciting <laughs> i'm yeah. here yeah, yeah. Bye. i'm here again it's, yeah. <laughs> it, in order to scare people you have to be you have to you, you can't be present all the time yeah yeah definitely it's great fun <laughs> great 
Uh, and my final question, um, is there anything else that you'd like to share about yourself or acting or about Taproot? Anything else I'd like to share about myself or acting or Taproot? Um, I'm just so grateful for Taproot. When I first came to Seattle in 2007, uh, my first show in the city and my first show with Taproot was um, the importance of being earnest. And since then, Taproot, Taproot had at that time for me and, and really always has been one of the best places I've ever worked as an artist. And I, if I can share one thing about acting and one thing about Taproot that I love, it's just their ability to, to make a family of the artists that work there. And I couldn't be more thankful and more grateful for Karen and Scott and the organization. Definitely. And for the opportunity to be a part of it again. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, with that, that concludes our interview. Just some really short questions to get to know you. Uh, thank you again for sharing and for meeting with me today.